Hello everyone. Today we will discuss another very important topic known as laser. You know laser has many applications in medical field, in industry field, in entertainment and many more. Laser plays so important role in medical field like x-ray, like uh, dentist also using laser. So have you think about the who discovered laser and how it was discovered? Actually, laser theory is not very old theory, and uh, it was discovered by by a scientist known as L. B. Krager in 1960. Imagine before 1960, there was no laser, and laser based on the phenomena of optical, I mean optical device, which was pointed out by scientist Albert Einstein. So Einstein's contribution is nineteen around nineteen forty, nineteen twenty you can say. So after forty year, laser was discovered. So we will understand the what is laser first, and what is role of laser, because it has direct applications in the many important fields like I told you in industry, in research, in medical, where you can observe day to day uh, activities are happening by laser. So. What is laser? Somebody asks, "What is laser?" So laser is the L A S E R. Okay. So if we write full form laser, laser is light, light amplification, amplification, stimulated. emission emission of radiation so these are terms uh, how light stimulate how light amplify that is the full form of laser so laser actually is optical device which amplify the light laser is a optical device laser is a optical device optical device which amplify light which amplify light okay nowadays laser is widely used in the research because laser is the perfect example of the coherent light you know coherent light play important role in the many field many phenomena so later laser is the first uh, i mean kind of example you can give coherent light so laser is based on the phenomena of laser is optical device which amplify light and based based on the term you can say term stimulated stimulated emission emission which was first pointed out pointed out by albert einstein albert einstein einstein okay because einstein has predicted predicted some term like absorption emission stimulated emission and basis of that phenomena laser was discovered now laser there also term called maser maser is also term called that is not connected with the laser but similar term is there maser means microwave 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 and remaining terms are same so how that term was discovered nowadays there are thousands of lasers there and they have widely applicable in various fields so i have discovered the simplest kind of laser that is called helium neon laser and what is the wavelength of that laser okay so simplest kind of laser is the helium neon laser and wavelength of this is 632.8 nanometer okay now how it works i can give the simple uh, diagram now understand the suppose the vibrations of this 
मे बी दिस काइंड और मे बी दिस काइंड दिस इज फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सेकेंड यू कैन से वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द लाइट इन दिस फैशन एंड थर्ड यू कैन से वाइब्रेशन आर लाइक दिस सो अंडरस्टैंड बड़ी डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड यू कैन से दिस इज फर्स्ट दिस इज सेकेंड दिस इज थर्ड सो देर इज एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज लाइन्स यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट दे आर नॉट इन इन ए कोरेंट वे दे आर नॉट इन आई मीन स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड पॉइंट आर डिफरेंट सो दिस इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑर्डनरी लाइट ऑर्डनरी लाइट इज नॉट कोरेंट लाइट ऑर्डनरी लाइट इज नॉट कोरेंट लाइट दिस इज दी मोनोक्रोमेटिक बट इन कोरेंट मोनो क्रोमेटिक बट इन कोरेंट इन कोरेंट एंड दिस इज दी कोरेंट लाइट कोरेंट लाइट सो अंडरस्टैंड दी वाइब्रेशन टू आर सिमिलर बट वन इज डिफरेंट इन दिस केस थ्री वाइब्रेशन आर सेम सो दैट वाई इट इज कोरेंट लाइट कोरेंट लाइट मीन्स दे हैव द कॉन्स्टेंट फेज डिफरेंस आई मीन दी द मूवमेंट ऑफ द मालिकुल्स दे मूव इन द सिमिलर फैशन सो दैट द एंगल्स आई मीन सेम दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ द कोरेंट लाइट नाउ लेजर हैज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड प्रॉपर्टीज दैट वाई इट इज वाइडली यूज सो लेजर यू नो इज द कम्प्लीट आई टोल्ड यू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द कोरेंट लाइट एंड लेजर हैज सम रिमार्केबल रिमार्केबल प्रॉपर्टीज लेजर हैज सम रिमार्केबल प्रॉपर्टीज नंबर वन कोरेंट लाइट कोरेंट लाइट ठीक है सो लेजर इज ए कंप्लीट कोरेंट सोर्स एंड इट मीन्स दूवमेंट ऑफ द पार्टिकल मूवमेंट ऑफ द फोटॉन्स दे इन मूव इन सच ए बे एंगल रिमेन सेम सो दिस इज परफेक्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द कोरेंट लाइट सेकेंड इट इज मोनोक्रोमेटिक मोनोक्रोमेटिक इट मीन्स सिमिलर कलर आई रेड ग्रीन और इट इज ऑलमोस्ट मोनोक्रोमेटिक थर्ड इज दी very important property that has unidirectional unidirectional what is meaning of directional because it never uh, i mean divert here and there it it can go up to certain distance without spreading so it is called unidirectional direction is very uh, same almost and third is very important term that is called high intense source high Intense source. Major the high intense source. Uh, I mean, this is the kind of source where medical or any industry people are doing using that, and in terms of that building or cutting building, cutting materials, many applications are there. So it is high intense source. Sometimes in laboratory, the scientist or researcher they move bear certain kind of the uh, lenses. I mean, uh, spec, so that. Laser should not in uh, direct hit our eye, your eye, so that eye may be damaged. So it is high intense source. Always avoid the direct uh, looking the uh, beam of the laser light because of the high intense. Okay. So what we have learned, there are three important, four important properties. Number one, laser is coherent light. Number two, laser is the uh, uh, unidirectional. Number three, it is high intense source, and it is a very important property called monochromatic so these are the properties now what einstein gives previously suppose we have the two level system level 1 level 2 okay this is level 1 this is level 2 i mean energy of this is e1 energy of this is e2 now suppose there is a uh, uh, electron in the ground state okay so it may rise to higher state what is called absorption so whenever there is change the state from 1 or 2 or 2 to 1 a photon emitted so you can say here 
ई टू माइनस ई वन इक्वल टू एच न्यू ओके सो एच न्यू न्यू इक्वल टू ई टू माइनस ई वन अपॉन एच वेर एच इज कॉल्ड प्लेइंग कॉन्स्टेंट एंड ई वन एंड ई टू आर दी एनर्जीज इन ग्राउंड स्टेट एंड हायर एनर्जी स्टेट न्यू इज फ्रिक्वेंसी सो दिस इज द इनिशियल स्टेट ऑफ एटम इनिशियल स्टेट ऑफ एटम नाउ वट इज फाइनल स्टेट ऑफ एटम सपोज दिस इज सेम टू एवल सिस्टम लेवल वन लेवल टू एनर्जी ऑफ दिस इज ई वन इज एनर्जी टू ई टू नाउ इट कैन कम डाउन टू दी ग्राउंड स्टेट बिकॉज लाइफ टाइम ऑफ द अपर स्टेट इज वेरी स्मॉल टेन यू आर माइनस एट सेकेंड तो दिस कम डायरेक्टली दिस इज फाइनल स्टेट ऑफ एटम फाइनल स्टेट सो इन दिस वे टाइसन ऑलवेज चेंजेस सेम वे वी कैन राइट फ्रिक्वेंसी ई टू माइनस ई वन इक्वल टू एच न्यू सो इन दिस वे दर इज ए अदर टर्म कॉल्ड दिस इज कॉल्ड वट इज ऑब्जॉर्बसन ऑब्जॉर्बसन एंड सेकेंड इज कॉल्ड स्पॉन्डिस मिशन सो दीज टू टर्म्स आर गिवन बाई अलवन आइंस्टाइन दिस इज ऑफ दैट टर्म हाउ लेजर स्टार्ट ना वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म That two level system. This is called two level system. Laser is work on the three level system, four level system. What is third level? Third level is called meta stable state. That play important role. So understand the diagram by which. Ki what is the role of the uh, three level system? That is very important in laser. So how that three level system? I mean works. Suppose there is a ground state. There is middle state and there is a final state. Initially, the electrons atoms are here. They can rise to higher level. And what happen? This is called ground state. Ground state that is called E one, and this is called E two, and this is called by E three. This is called meta stable state. Meta stable. state and this is called higher state that is called excited state so these are three level system now through pumping through some device the the electrons which are ground state they can reach at the higher level now what happen in the next step the three level system 1 2 3 now all the electrons reach here okay so they can come down because of the process so they can come down here in the metal stable state so now next state you can say this is more populated okay and the third state four state they can come down in the ground state so these are four step you can say step 1 step 2 step 3 and step 4 okay so how that ground state atom reach the higher state state by using some optical device that is called pumping when this is the more populated now this is more populated so automatic transition takes place with a light time of this 3.8 second automatic spontaneous emission are there now how now next is they can hear now this shows that this is more populated more populated so the transition takes place in third state okay the so states are same you can say this is e2 this is e1 and this is e3 similarly here this is e1 this is e2 or this is i mean e3 this is e1 this is also e1 so e2 and e3 So how that uh, transition takes place? Ki whenever there is transition change, now here we can say ki e one minus e three, or you can say e three minus e one equal to h nu. Similarly here e three minus e two equal to h nu. Here e two minus e one equal to like e two minus e one equal to h nu. Whenever important is whenever transition takes place, it will. Emit a frequency nu, either it going from lower to higher state, higher to lower state. So one photon emitted from this side, 
okay i am making from this side so how they move in a similar fashion so laser will work now next we will see we will consider the case what is need of the population inversion how we can achieve that is our next topic so next we have to understand the next topic i mean next video ki what is the population inversion how to achieve import, uh, the that population inversion because this is the base of laser i mean we want more and more electrons in the higher state so that transition takes place thank you